Organic farming is the science of growing fruits and vegetables by following the essential principles of organic agriculture. This includes soil building and conservation, pest management, and heirloom variety preservation. Through attention to good healthy soil condition, it is expected that insect, fungal, and other problems that sometimes plague plants can be minimized. Colin and his team have invented a product that consolidates your entire farm into a simple food barrel. They're on a mission to make organic farming simple and inexpensive for people all over the world. What is your, your history, uh, background, professionally, uh, education? I have no formal education in mechanical engineering whatsoever, but I'm an inventor and I had no, no fear whatsoever that I could come up with it. It was just a matter of a lot of trial and error and a lot of research. The internet was fantastic to actually learn about how to design something that would work correctly because when I invented it, I knew almost nothing about gardening and I sought out information on how people successfully grow food. I did most of my research, to be honest with you, on YouTube and I just watched hundreds of videos and figured out what works, what works right, working with my list of criteria to have a marketable product. And I kind of put the project in my brain and I just sat with it for a few months as I developed it. It wasn't a Yahoo, you know, Eureka moment at all. It was kind of like a, a long, drawn-out process. I became involved with the, uh, the Garden Tower project uh, about two years ago when I trialed a couple of units and was so impressed with the results that uh, I began growing in them and have continued since. How did this go from being a really cool idea into a viable business? This has been <laughs> Colin's full-time gig for three years yep. plus. I got to celebrate actually uh, taking my, my first draft from the company last month and that was because every dime we have goes into this company. Mm -hmm. um, we actually launched a Kickstarter in February, which concluded in March, and it was to basically uh, drive business quickly and early on and allow us to make kind of a, a leap into this current version of the tower, which we call 1.1. Uh, we, did, we did about $88,000 in Kickstarter pre-orders and uh, donations. Uh, in in 30 awards. days. 32 That's days. incredible. Mm -hmm. And, um, what were you seeking? 28,000. You were looking for 28 and you got 88? Yep. Mm -hmm. Tell us who you are and what your affiliation is with the Garden Tower Project. My name is Benedict Jones. I came across the Garden Tower Project and was lucky enough to get involved helping them develop business. Benedict Jones was able to create a successful crowdfunding campaign through the use of an informative and educational video, several small donation levels, positive customer testimonials, and sharing the campaign across all social media networks. You became affiliated specifically to help make the Kickstarter more successful. Yeah. It, it seems like it was extremely successful. It was, you know, they made 300% their goal. They exceeded the donations of their last campaign and by all accounts with the, the traffic and analytics we were looking at, it seemed to perform better. The crowdfunding market nearly doubled in 2012, raising $2.7 billion worldwide and funding more than one million campaigns. This site that we're in right now is your production facility, correct? Currently. So tell me what we're standing over right now. This is the garden tower. It's a vertical container gardening system, and it's the first one of its kind that actually creates its own organic fertilizer. You actually put your kitchen scraps inside the tube, your soil on the outside around the barrel, and your plants on the very outside in these pockets and you introduce red wiggler worms into this environment right here and it becomes a vermicompost. And what happens in a vermicompost is the worms will break down the vegetative matter and create worm castings, which is a beautiful organic fertilizer. So you have a or organic fertilizer inside of your garden and it's constantly creating that. And what happens is when you water the garden tower, you water it from the top, gravity feeds all 50 plants. And as the water comes down, it's pulling nutrients from the soil that are created from the worms and from the, from the vermicompost tube. And that water settles at the bottom and you collect it through drain holes and you reintroduce it back into the system. So that water over time becomes more and more nutrient dense. And as a result, you get very, very fast growth and very nutrient dense vegetables, flowers, whatever you want. What is the cost per unit on this car? Here in Bloomington, 229. For organic agricultural products, the organic label assures that the foods were grown without the use of toxins, such as pesticides and fertilizers.
Because you don't want to burn the barrel. You start to smell kind of nasty, huh? Uh, yeah. Wow. That is cool. You got to do 45 times. 45 <laughs> times. How long does it take you to, to uh, pull out one of these? Uh, the first barrel that I make, it takes me five hours and a half. Five and a half hours. Yeah, my first one it takes me like five and a and half now? hours. And now? It takes me less. <laughs> so you're slamming it, huh? Yeah, you got to position it, though. Where are you selling right now? We're really branching out uh, with our new affiliate program, which just went online the last couple of weeks. So those people that really like their tower and that have friends that see what they're doing, we can reward them as an affiliate uh, with really generous commission structure and basically allow them to help us promote our product uh, well, generating a part-time or full-time business on their own. Garden Tower's distribution model is based on online sales through their website and an affiliate program which allows people to purchase the Garden Tower at a wholesale price and sell at the suggested retail price. What advice would you give me or would you have given yourself back before you started? Well, if you're going to start a product, which is what I could specifically speak about, I would say do as much research as you can you really have to then find out by talking to people that will be honest with you, is this something that you would purchase? Finding out from other people whether you have a, a, a viable product or not or a viable idea is very, very important because everyone thinks they have the best thing. Well, so. thanks a lot, guys, for your time. I think you're definitely making your impact on the world. Thank you. A great idea can grow at any moment, but what you do with that idea is what matters most. Collins surrounded himself with the people that could help make Garden Tower projects successful. And with his new distribution model, the possibilities are endless. For more information, log on to our website and click the link for Garden Tower Project. Visit our website at startup-usa.com and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. What, what, uh, what do you call organic food? What did they call organic food in 1950? No idea. Food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. American Express is proud to support Startup and the millions of small businesses that put in the hard work to be open for business in neighborhoods across the country. The Chevrolet Volt, an everyday electric car with gas for longer trips. The nature of things to come. Oh, Chevrolet, find new roads. The entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well. In Walsh College's business launch entrepreneurial community, consultants provide advice to aspiring business starters. More information available online.